Hello everyone and welcome back to another exciting episode of Pokemon Coliseum. So where I last left off, pretty much at the <laughs> end of Area 4, now moving on into Area 5, we're halfway there. Just halfway there. If I could actually binge through the last bit of it, which I will say will be in murder. Yeah. Then that would be great. So Suicune took Umbreon's place as the most powerful of them all. But anyway. Unless we're... Maybe, I don't know. Tyranitar could use some training, but, uh, she, uh, can wait. I guess. I don't know. Either way, it's like, yeah. I, I don't know. That's the one thing. I just thought about that and thought, would I actually play this game after, even if I'm done? And it's like, I don't know. I really don't. If anything, I could probably, maybe, probably, perhaps, bring these Pokemon over to the Game Boy Advance for, uh, Game Boy Advance. And then move them into the DS, to which then at that point, I don't know. Uh, Jin Chaz are pain in the ass, so yeah. Um, but yeah, that, that's an interesting proposition. Because if I can actually get him into the Pokemon bank or the transfer thing, maybe. I don't know. That's the problem. I don't know. Oh, great. Okay. Maybe I'll have lightning rod on it. I don't know. Um, but yeah. Because so I can definitely say that this game is fun, especially playing it over and over again. When you don't have an objective, but still... This is how many episodes so far? I think it's... I'm already on episode 95 or something like that. Oh, excuse me. But yeah. I mean, that's from what's already been made. This is just still... This is still being recorded. It doesn't count. So, yeah. That's, uh... That's, uh, that's generally what it is. So, yeah. Thinking about it, but either way, I still need to think about well, what game do I want to play after this, which I don't have a clue. To be frankly honest, I don't know. Delikitty, I hate, I hate, I, I, I mean, there are Pokemon that I do not like, and Delikitty is one of them. Why, I don't know. Might be just due to the fact that it knows, it can know, um, well, just how it moves, that's one thing, and that's a bias, I understand that. But, uh, another thing is it can... It basically has the unique trait of, like, if a Pokemon uses a physical move on them, not physical attack, but just a move that actually touches them, <laughs> um, basically, they become attracted to them, depending if they're the opposite sex, per se. And that is absurdly annoying. That's why I don't like it. And I don't use Pokemon like that, just because it's like, I'm not going to use a trait that will give me an advantage. Eh, no. Either way, I, that's just me. And these battles are getting obsessively long, damn it! Oh, trust me, when it's like we get to six, area six or seven or eight or nine, it's gonna get longer. And I mean, longer. I was expecting that. Somewhat. He's like, whoa! Fuck! Okay. But yeah, if anything, though, I'm just doing this... These Pokemon Coliseum episodes one... Uh, what, two episodes every week... Every two weeks, because it's like... I can't... I mean, the three... Three episodes, it's just like doing this constantly. It's like, ugh. 
If I could do it next time, where I do three episodes and the last part is two episodes, it's like, that's possible. But we'll have to wait and see. What is it with these normal Pokemon, I swear? And I realized that Noctali is just confused, Ray, so... Oops. And also, they're they're getting stronger, so it's like, eh, it's just getting a little bit more difficult. Hence why the battles are taking a little bit longer. Oh. Ooh, great. Usually. What happened to Psychic? Can Noctel even use? I'm pretty sure he knocked out new Psychic. Hmm. Either way. Well, this will be interesting because I know the Noctel is more special, uh, special defense oriented, and yet I don't know. Alrighty then. Even though we use Mud Sport, it should be enough. Yep. Dominated. Let's see. I'm curious what she had to say, because I wasn't reading what she initially said, even though I can go back and post and be like, Oh, okay, that's what she said. You seem to be enjoying yourself all right. <laughs> uh, okay. I mean, okay. It's cool. Uh-huh, that's the point. That is the purpose. <laughs> Takes one. Guts. Two. Um, make sure I have enough fingers on this drink, and... Three. I almost lost it, actually. Gotta have that pinky up so that way you're fancy. Am I fancy? No. I'm anything but fancy. I make it. I'm anything but anything but classy as well. But yeah, we won't go there. Um. I don't have a choice. I have to take out Sableye because it's a pain in the ass, and fake out won't work on Mistreva, so. Fuck you. <laughs> really? You tried to do that on Mistrevis? Are you an idiot? I mean... I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I don't know how to respond to that. I'm just like, hmm. I mean, he's of age, so it's just like, mm, maybe. I don't want to be mean, but maybe. So, oh, Mistrevis, you are overly powerful. Only thing is, well, maybe I'll just, you know, I'll, I'll switch out Mistrevis for Tyranitar. It sounds kind of silly, but especially it's gonna not waste. Well, it's gonna take a bit more time for the battles, but it's just like, eh, either way, I'd do Rain Dance anyway. And does it try to turn now Thunder, by chance? Or is it Blizzard? Probably Blizzard. Yep, Blizzard. The only problem I'll have is if I'm going to use Ground Move, well, I'm going to use Earthquake, well, that's going to be the problem. What? Oh, balls, okay. <laughs> I was trying to do the other way around. All right. Well, that would leave it only open. Okay. I mean, it'd be pretty cool if I could ever teach Tyranitar. Well, I mean, you can. You can teach Tyranitar Surf, which is silly. Tyranitar is weird, but so useful. Okay. It's the only one that's going to be hit by the sandstorm is Riku. Then let's see. Rain dance and oh, crap. Welp. We'll have to do. I'm afraid. I mean that's okay, I guess. It would work better if um Riku had a protect, but I haven't 
There's no, nothing to really... Nothing really to actually get rid of. I mean, quick attack is useful as an alternative, but... I don't know. I just don't know. I would prefer a crunch, too, but... Reflect is actually quite helpful. Okay. That's good enough for me, I guess. I mean, that's not helpful, because... Not a f oh, ground. It's just like, what? But, no, it's fine. Okay, so, crunch, and we should do the trap. Corsola was shocked! All right, so, we get a quick attack. Well, just in case. No, okay, crunch. Just as a just in case precaution, because I know quick attacks on isn't going to do much, because Graveler is defensive, and Riku sucks in terms of physical attacks. However, Tranitar, on the other hand, is a dominant in terms of special attack. Somewhat. Gen 3, not really, but eh, still can be used as a special attack hog, depending on which moves you get. More drippy with perspiration. Ugh! Okay. Which actually brings up an interesting query, actually, if anything. Uh, yeah. Sorry, I'm just thinking to myself, like, uh, the whole idea that with Pokemon, or with, like, either Fire Red or Leaf Green, um, just the idea that about Gary, or excuse me, Blue, or whatever his name is. I always put him as Gary, my god. <laughs> That's the d <laughs> you can imagine. You're pretty much naming him dipshit. I mean, honestly, it's so mean, but it's still just like, that'd be funny as hell. Looks like... <laughs> I'm just trying to think, what did the Game Grumps name him? Alright, derp. I don't know. I don't know, but it'd be still funny as hell just call him something that is just, like, some people are like, really? Yep. But yeah, anyway, the only thing is uh, I could probably say is when his, um... It was, uh... It was during... Hmm. It was during, like, when I used to play it when I was younger. The, uh, fact that when, whenever you, like, in Leaf Green, if you beat an Elite Four and Champion Four, you can do it again, but the levels are higher, and they change team, they change Pokémon, so that way... Um, crap, okay. So that way, basically, it's not the same thing as, like, last time. So there's that. And they are much tougher, even the champion. Um, he switches out, I think, a, I think a Rhydon, if he has one. No, something else. I can't remember. He switches out something for a Tyranitar. All he teaches it, if I'm not mistaken, was he taught it Aerial Ace. Gosh, I don't know. But it was just an odd, an odd dis decision to go with something, to go with the, the set of moves that he gave it. And it's like, why would you do that? If anything, I know it knew Aerial Ace, Earthquake, Crunch, and something else. Oh, it's this kid. It's just like, like he's just totally like, it's totally your fault, man. So you're a bad guy for picking a little kid like me. Yeah, well, it's not my fault you were the one number 46. When you thought, oh, it is easy. I'll be totally the best thing in the world. Yeah, well, screw you. I don't deal with snot-nosed punks like you. Often. Let's take care of Kodaba. Well, it doesn't matter either way. It doesn't matter if I go for not to or Kadabra, because they both can under they both know uh confuse ray. So uh, uh, actually let's see, because they're sure, I mean. One's weak against Rock, the other is not, but his special his defense sucks, so 
Aha, uh -huh, good call. Good call. So maybe I didn't have to use Rain Dance, but uh, maybe. I don't know. Alrighty then. Is that the is that the battle? Is it over? I hope so. Nope. Okay. Oh. Okay then. Well, let's see if I can pummel him with thunder. I mean, this is just an absolute slaughter right here. Even though Meta Cham is Cham, I think isn't the best Pokemon, especially, I mean, with its typing, is interesting. Because it's a psychic fighting type, so it's... It's weak against darkness, flying, ghost... I think that's it, yes. I believe so. So... It's a very interesting Pokemon type. Oh, goody. Oh, a goody. I mean, I'm gonna have to use Rain Dance just to get a 100% uh, hit on the... Oh, no. Let's see. Blizzard would do nothing, so... With the thunder, so it's like, eh, well, there's not much I can do about that at the moment. But the speed on Love Disc is nothing. And Tyranitar is destroying everything she's got. In Weldon Fell swoop. But if the trend continues, if anything, she'll have just water Pokemon, so that's okay. Alrighty. So Riku will knock out Tentacool in one go. I stand corrected. I'm gonna use uh, Rock Slide on uh, Seedra. Uh, no, Seedra will. I'll use Sea. I'll use Thunder on Seedra. Being that. Seedra's more of a defensive Pokemon rather than special defensive. It's when it becomes Kingdra that, that he's, a, he's a beast. Or it becomes a beast. And Tentacool's special de er, excuse me, defense sucks anyway. Alright. Oh, frightful. Oh, dear me. I've been scared out of my knickers. Have you? Okay, losing feels far heavier than a Pokeball, wouldn't you say? I wouldn't know. If anything, it still feels quite light. Oh, oh what a darling boy. I will teach you way, in a way, way even you will understand. Wow. Talk about condescending. In my opinion. I'll teach you a thing or two about stuff. I have the advantage in this situation. Because she may have two different types, but I have... A rock Pokemon. And an electric Pokemon. Two totally contrasting things. Actually, I just thought about it. But it is it possible Riku could actually survive an um, earthquake? Probably not. I mean, seriously, unlikely. Mainly because Tyranitar is higher level, so it's like, no. Very unlikely. I mean, seriously. Super duper unlikely. Alrighty. So we'll knock out whatever the hell that is with thunder and call it a day. <laughs> Would I? I couldn't just use Blizzard, but it's like, why? Actually, here's another interesting thing. If you were to use Blizzard and Hail, would that be even a thing? Would it, or would it even get 100%? I, tried it, I think I tried it once and it didn't work. 
I don't know. It's not even... It's not very darling of you, you to win. Well, I'm sorry. I wasn't your student to begin with. You should teach me nicely next time. Oh. Um... I mean... If you ask me nicely, maybe. First half. That makes you have the other guy. And you are a bug type Pokemon trainer. Oh, excuse me. I'm a flying. You're a flying Pokemon trainer. I don't know if I just heard my dog or not, but still. Yeah, it was a bigger. Boom. Beauty fly is done. I'll definitely have to look up the Pokédex to see, like, because Butterfree is that one underused Pokémon to the point where I'm like, it actually be of any benefit to have? I mean, initially, starter Poke uh, starting in the very beginning, sure. Hmm. Okay, I was wondering, it's like, wait, did it not do it? But yes, it did. Um, but yeah. I don't know why that came up with the idea of, like, well, what about Butterfree? But it's just like, I don't know. I don't know. If anything, it's just like, it's a low-tier Pokemon in the beginning, so that way you can take on other Pokemon. So it's like, yeah, no, maybe. Maybe. But still. I find that intriguing, though, that, um... Because I remember my friend, uh... Explained to me that... In Pokemon Yellow, if you have Pikachu, you're screwed. Especially in the first... If you're up against Brock, oh my gosh. Pain in butt. The biggest pain in butt, I would tell you. And he, I think he, I think he came to me and asking for help on that. It's like, can you get me out of here? And it's like, uh, sure. But yeah. Huzzah! Trainer is powerful. Slow as molasses, but powerful. Jeez, that took forever. If, if it becomes like literally 30 minute episodes of Beaches doing next areas, it's like, gosh. I might as well just binge right through anyway. Oh, we get to go through another area of the lair. Ugh, whatever. I'm gonna get my coupons. 800 coupons? Alright, well. I'm going to end the episode right here. So in the next episode, well, we're going to move on to Area 6. So thank you all for watching, and uh, I'll see you next time. So yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, I will see you guys next time.